load of pungos. Uh, uh, that's Chinese for me amigos. <laughs> uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, oh yes. So, pungos, this is my beautiful land called China. The local folks here call it Jungwo, which literally means the middle country. Seems long time ago, they believed that China was the center of the universe. <laughs> China is home to one of the most ancient civilizations, dating back almost 5,000 years, which is even older than my brother Bill. <laughs> or, or, I mean, Wong Tu Tui. <laughs> uh, very funny, Bob. <laughs> I mean, he's so fat. <laughs> Just kidding, Pungo. Uh, anyway, China is one very mucho grande place. In fact, it's the third largest country in the world. And, and, and uh, 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 as an accountant, I, I would like to point out that uh, uh, that with more than one billion people, it's the uh, the, the most populated country in in the world. Why, well, thank you there, Wong Tu Toy. <laughs> now, if you'll kindly get back to your abacus there, I'll get back to the tour. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, certainly. <laughs> Let's see, where was I? Oh. Here we are! This great land is full of diversity, with the tallest mountain ranges in the world as well as vast deserts. I bet you didn't know we had camels here, huh? <laughs> oh, speaking of varmints, er, I mean animals, China is home to a wide variety of them, including the yak and the giant panda bear. Now, China also has an ancient and rich history. For example, China's first great emperor, Zhao Zung, <laughs> built the Great Wall to keep some fierce bad guys known as the Huns from attacking people in the north. Eventually, this wall was more than 4,000 miles long. Well, just to give you an idea, if and we laid the Great Wall across the good old U.S. of A, it would stretch from one end all the way to the other. Uh, uh, actually, it would hang uh, over each side by, by, by like approximately uh, 750 miles. Thank you, Wong. <laughs> As you've seen, Chinese civilization was quite advanced in its early years. Why, they invented paper and the first seismograph. These hombres were also among the first to use gunpowder and steel, as well as paper money. Uh, uh, <clears throat> a notable contribution, I might add. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Moving right along. The people of China are very diverse as well. Just take you a gander at this. This is Beijing, the capital city of China home to nearly 11 million people. That's almost as many people as living in the entire state of Florida. <laughs> almost half the people in China live in cities, and a bunch of those cities are mucho grande. <laughs> On the other hand, the other half of the people live in places like this here, and this, and this. Some are very remote. While most of the people are of the Han people type, you also have a heap of others. Folks like the Zhuang, the Tibetans, the Dong, the Kazakhs, the Mongols, and the Hui. And about 500 other people groups too. Each of these people have their own lifestyles, customs, and religious beliefs. Hey, take the Way, for instance. The Way are mostly Muslim, which means they worship Allah and follow the teachings of Muhammad. There are more than eight and a half million Way in China. You see, Wodapungos, in spite of the fact that the government of China is communist and discourages all religions, they found they've had to tolerate some religious practice because there's a heap of hombres who want to be able to worship. So you got your Muslims, but you've also got your Buddhists and your Taoists and some people who mix it all together and practice folk religions. 
But a whole bunch of people in China, especially the young'uns, don't believe in God at all. They're called atheists. Most of them never even heard the story of Jesus Christ. Nearly every person in China has heard about China's first great emperor, Zhao Zong, who built the Great Wall and all, and who was buried in honor with thousands of those terracotta soldiers. But a whole heap of them don't know a thing about the greatest emperor of all, Jesus Christ. <laughs>